So I am in a book slump or I haven't had the motivation to pick up a book. <laughs> okay, okay, here's tea. I don't know if this is spoiling. Is it spoiling? I'm gonna tell y'all. Miss Lil Esme. It's been so long to get into. Yeah. It sucks. Um, as you guys know, I got ACLs and meniscus surgery about a month ago today. And ever since then, I haven't been able to enjoy reading or I haven't had the motivation to pick up a book. Even when I do, I don't like the book or I don't like... It's not like I don't like the book, I just don't enjoy the process like I normally do. And it just sucks. Like, <laughs> like okay. Um, here's me trying to get out of this slump and... What's a better way of doing it than bringing you guys along with me? So if you guys are also going through a book slump, let's get out of this book slump together. But first, hi. For those of you who went into my channel, my name is Regia Bonkale and welcome to my channel. And for those of you who've been here, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so before we start this video, I know you guys have noticed I haven't been posting any book related like videos as a booktuber. It has been getting to me. Um, I've only really been posting my surgery updates, like recovery updates, and I know some of you guys aren't here for that, and some of you guys are just here for the book content, and I'm really sorry about that. That has been messing with my mind. As an overthinker, I'm just trying to be as transparent as possible. As an overthinker, it's just been horrible, which came with a book slump, because reading makes me happy, and I literally have no energy to really do much all i do is watch tv and play my nintendo switch okay here's me trying to get out of it i don't know if it's gonna be easy i don't know how long this video is gonna be <laughs> anyways without further ado i'm done talking um so yeah okay so we're gonna start this video off with their vicious games by jolene wellington i actually previously started this book when i was trying to get out of my book slump like a month ago and i actually was also listening to the audiobook kudos to audiobooks let me tell you don't 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 hate on audiobooks okay they do their thing okay um and sometimes i just don't want to pick up a book so i have been listening to the audiobook and sometimes i listen to the audiobook while also reading i don't know it's nice to hear somebody else read to me I don't know. Anyways, I don't know how I feel yet about the book. <laughs> I stopped at page 19. Yeah. And I haven't picked it up since. So we're going to continue this book in this video. Um, from what I got, it's basically following like freshly out of high school um, group of kids. And our main character, I forgot her name. Something happened to her um, her senior year and she ends up losing her admissions to Yale I think it was Yale I don't remember but I think it was Yale and she and she ends up getting like cut off by her friends her so-called friends the only person that stuck with her is her best friend and they live in this high society like I'm talking you know like if you think about the Hollywood like stars and celebrities you think about their kids how they go to these fancy schools yeah but she is not a part of like the rich kids she's actually um going to that school on a scholarship and I think her parents like do maintenance work at the school so she's looked at as like a you know down I, I'm I don't know why I'm doing that um she's looked at as a lower like class person but because she's I guess she's so smart and also she's black in a white school but yeah like our main character is like full black I'm talking curly hair I'm talking yeah yeah um so that also is like a big factor in her story and i think something happened with her and this famous girl i think the girl lied i'm not sure we don't know yet but from what i picked up from the first couple of pages the girl is a snake <laughs> yeah that's what i picked up anyways um so yeah and this book is written by a black author so you already know i'm about to eat it up um and yeah, I think that's all I remember. Sky 
kind of crazy. Okay, okay, here's tea. I don't know if this is spoiling. Is it spoiling? I'm gonna tell y'all. Here's tea. So basically, what went down between Esme and Adina? They weren't friends, but you know, she was playing it safe and as and you know, in their little Esme's little clique, and you she's basically the true definition, like the textbook definition of a mean girl. Okay. We all know Esme's white and Adina is a black girl. So basically, Adina got accepted to Yale early admissions and or was it early acceptance early action early actions i don't know early action and esme got deferred and basically during lunch miss little esme <laughs> decides to be a little funny and a little racist yeah i said it i don't care she was racist um and she's gonna say you will fill out their quota nicely. Like what? <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> Honey, what do you mean by that? Sit with me. What do you mean by that? Anyways, she's explaining what went down and I want to know what went down. But I had to tell you that because that's how to puck it. You don't say that to people. The kinds of things life throws at you I never knew I feel so Ooh, Esme is a cold stone y'all know the word so safe in your arms now you're all I need it wasn't long before I knew that I felt for you when you had my heart as fast as the seasons change, my heart was stolen. Dang. Okay, so basically what happened between both of them was, as you guys know, Esme was bullying Adina. So Adina decided to get back at her. So she was telling everybody that she was, like, Esme's family is basically broke, which is true. So Esme got mad and thought it was Adina's best friend, Tony. And she was like saying really mean things to Tony. And Adina stood up for her best friend and she clapped back as she should. And that's when things went sideways for her. Because she stood up for herself. She stood up to a racist girl. Who couldn't fathom the fact that someone darker than her got into Yale and she didn't. Even though she got into Dartmouth. Her dream school, guys. Okay. So safe in your arms. Now you're all I need. It wasn't long before I knew that I felt for you when you had my heart. As fast as the next day, I think I want to read a little bit. Um, and yeah, that's that's just it. I think I'm ready to read a little bit. Hi guys, I made it to page 64 and I'm at the part where the game started. The game is called The Finish and now like where I am at, um, the girls are just not getting to the Remington Mansion and getting told the rules and not everything. But anyway, it's Friday and I finished their vicious games. And on y'all, this book was amazing. 
I was not ready for everything that unfolded in this book. It was not what I was thinking. It was so much better. Um, this was just mind blowing. The plot twist in the book is so crazy. The game, the finish isn't what we think it is. I thought it was something different, but what it actually was was so much worse. Um, and the ending was so satisfying. Like I was like, yes. I also read the epilogue and I was actually happy with how the epilogue went along. But this book was amazing. I rated it a 4.95, so close to a five stars, but there were some things I was just like, mm. anyways, that was the first book of this video. Um, so the next book, I don't know if I'm gonna read, I wanna read at least three books in this reading vlog, but I don't know if that's gonna be possible because it did take me a while to get into their vicious games. I didn't finish it till last night when I was just like, you know what? I need to get into this book and I persevered and I was able to finish it by listening to it while playing my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Anyways, so the next two books I have, I was kind of feeling some thrillers and I have The Family Remains by Lisa Jewell and I also have When I'm Dead. I don't really know much. This was a book of the month um, book of mine for October. <laughs> Hi besties, long time no talk. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, I haven't updated you guys on the second book of this video. Um, I have been listening to it on the audiobook. I am on page I think like a hundred something based off the audiobook. And this book is taking me so long to get into. This might not be one of my faves of Lisa Jawal just because of the way this book is structured. It's very confusing. Like we follow two, I think two or three different timelines and two or three different characters and it's so confusing. And like sometimes I find myself getting lost like, wait, how we jump from here to here? Um, and we're following different people. So I'm like really confused. Listening to it has been a lot like helpful and easy for me to get through it. Like I listen to it while I do my exercises and while I play my Nintendo Switch. So I try to multitask just to get me through this. This story is just like this plot is just not plotting. Like it's not plotting. And like we just follow way too many people and I finally finished um, the family remain and I or family remains I rated it at three stars this is my least favorite Lisa Jewel book it's just it was just kind of just like confusing at first but obviously at the end everything came together but then like the big secret the way the big secret was like unfolded was just kind of like what like what i don't want to spoil anything so it's hard for me to explain it without spoiling but it wasn't my cup of tea like i i just wanted to finish the book like i didn't want to dnf it because i was so close so i had to finish it but it wasn't my favorite um i gave it a three star because it was okay but it wasn't like oh my goodness i ate it up no no 
I did not eat it up. Anyways, um, so yeah, second book done. I forgot when I started this this video. I literally forgot when I started this video. Okay, so as you guys know, I said I was gonna read when I'm dead by Anna Morisi, but after finishing The Family Remains, I don't think I want another thriller. I don't even know if I want to read another book. I think I'm gonna have to like I'm going through it. I think I'm gonna continue Throtted by Lauren Asher because I did start this but I never finished it. Um it's also like a different pace than the last two books I've read. Um and a different genre. Like I don't want to read another thriller. It's just a lot of brain power. And you know, I say read, but I really mean like listen to. I'm gonna see if I can borrow it, like the audiobook. Hopefully there's an audiobook. And I'm gonna start it tomorrow because I can have read another book today. March 22nd March 22nd okay and I am finally ending this video um I did not finish throttled or throttled is it throttled thought it I don't know um I DNF'd it again just could not get into the book it was just no um I forgot what page I left off at I stopped at 23% because I was also listening to the audiobook I can't figure out what page I stopped at. Um, I guess like chapter 9. So that would be like in the 60 pages mark. Yeah, I didn't get too, I didn't get far at all. Did not get far. So she got a school job back. <laughs> she has been DNF'd softly. I am going to pick it up again and continue. But for now, I just was not feeling the book. I wasn't feeling the vibes. Then I want to pick it up. Anyways, am I out of my book slump? Kind of. Yes, I would say I am. But I just feel like the two books I read after Their Vicious Games just didn't hit. Because Their Vicious Games was just so amazing. My standards and my expectations was so high for the next books. And I feel like that's just unfair to the next books. And that was my fault. But like... You gotta come through. You gotta come through. You know what I mean? Like, to get out of a book slump, you gotta come through for me. Anyways, we read two and a quarter books in this video. Um, we read Their Vicious Games by Joelle Washington, um, The Family Remains by Lisa Joelle, and then Throttled by Lauren Asher. We read 23% of that. Okay, I rated this one a 4.95, this one three stars, and this one to be decided because I have not finished her. And Obviously, you guys know their Vicious Games was my favorite. I do think this brought me out of my book slump. Just these two books were just mid and they just weren't as good as this one. And honestly, I know I haven't finished Throttled yet. I'm going to finish it, but I'm sorry. If you're not getting my attention in the first two to three chapters, you've lost me. You have lost me. And yeah, so if you guys are also in a book slump... Just know you will get out of it. Just find a good book that's just going to pull you out. Okay? And I hope this video motivates you to get out of your book slump and not make you feel lonely while doing it. So I really hope you guys like this video. I know I haven't posted like any book videos in a while. So I really, really hope you guys like it. And I'm sorry for the lack of angles. <laughs> um, as y'all know, your girl is currently crippled. So can't really do much. And yeah, watch out for the next reading vlogs. And if you're new here, this is my first video you're watching and you like the vibes, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Join the family. We have fun over here. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for all the well wishes and just 
the love and i'll see you guys in my next video stay blessed stay beautiful and bye that i fell for you and you had my heart